Hello everyone, I'm Vladimir Yakovlev, a professional athlete and coach with many years of experience. Our international traveling windsurfing school Magic Wind operates in different countries and specializes in training windsurfers of all levels. In this video tutorial I will tell you about the most spectacular and aggressive type of downwind turn, the lay down jibe. The essence of the turn is to put the sail as low as possible to the water due to centrifugal force at high speeds and oncoming wind flow. To learn lay down jibe you need to confidently perform the regular jibe. Duck jibe skills can also come in handy. The easiest way to perform a lay down jibe is using a small, less than 5.5 meter sail and a JP free wave board, which is great for sharp carving at maximum speeds. The technique is very similar to a planing jibe, which you can see using a link here. But there is a slight difference at the very beginning of the maneuver. During the execution of the lay down jibe, speed is essential, so you should accelerate to the maximum speed using a strong gust of wind. Look back for safety and collision prevention, then shift your rear hand into the wider grab on the boom, unhook from the harness lines, make sure you stay low above the water. Now get the foot out of the rear foot strap and position it on the opposite side of your board. Now start pulling the sail towards yourself with your back hand over sheeting it. Your body continues to counterbalance the thrust in the sail and stays low. Start shifting your body towards the mast foot simultaneously with sheeting in. This is done by bending the front leg while the back leg remains straight. After you have oversheated the sail, start lifting your body vertically above the mast foot and lowering the mast down to the water with a slight shift back towards the stern, while your rear arm is lifting the clue up. At this moment the thrust in the sail disappears and the incoming wind flow passes through the sail. At the very beginning of this maneuver it may seem to you that when the mast is lowered down the thrust keeps increasing. Do not be scared, as soon as the mast falls lower than clue you will feel relieved. so try to lower the mast as quick as possible. In this position you keep moving only due to momentum and your sail is almost in a neutral position without thrust. It is imperative to keep the weight of your body above the mast foot so as not to lose speed. You cannot keep the sail lowered to the water as long as you would like. You must lift it up before the board crosses the wind line. Essentially, as soon as you have lowered it, it's already time to lift it up. Next step, the shift of your feet position and flipping of the sail happens in the same way as during the planing jibe. Do you want to hold your sail low above the water for longer? Lower it down as early and as quickly as possible. 
You can also extend the carve so that you get to keep the sail lowered for longer, but remember, a longer carve is only possible at higher speeds and maximum momentum. Don't rest on your laurels, always keep progressing. I will be glad to see you at our traveling windsurfing school Magic Wind. Subscribe to our channel, newsletter on the website as well as the social networks. Leave your likes and comments. See you soon!